I am John. And I'm Josh. And we're Super Nerd Factory. And we're just going to go through some of my pictures from Star Wars Celebration. Let's get into it. All right. Let's get this on the road. All right. So beginning pictures here is just what we saw from our hotel room of the Anaheim Convention Center. Uh, you know, they had the big banners out front. Han Solo. Yeah, that, that was the, the Han Solo one was the main badge for the four day. Uh, that's one of the new stormtroopers, right? Yep, that's a picture of one of the new stormtroopers. Um, and it's kind of funny. Uh, the official Star Wars, they released a like trailer thing of uh, that particular stormtrooper underneath the sign. Like they put in their own little video, which I thought was funny. That I was taking a picture of them. I actually think I like the new design. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's not an extreme change, but it looks nice. Uh, and then they built like this whole cantina thing. Uh, and that's pretty much where they were interviewing everyone if you didn't watch the live stream. Yeah, IG-88, my boy. I, you keep saying it's IG-88, but I don't know. <laughs> it looks like him. Um, so that was actually Eckstein. Yeah. Um, they, I thought those guys were actually statues. Uh, Cosplayers. Yeah, they, they had a whole bunch of props from, you know, that people built or they brought in. That's that, from the popular vehicle from the new trailer yeah um they, they always bring a big rancor in that you can pose with that has that been all the at the others you've been at yeah um there's always people lightsaber battling is um, that a lightsaber battle area yes okay uh there was a huge lego booth um there's just some of the things that they built for the show um like that's not even a quarter of the things that they had there um is this official lego there no, this was stuff people built that they, that, that, yeah, it was official Lego, but. Um, There's like random people brought stuff. Yeah, uh, they had giant Chewbacca, uh, they had like a R2-D2, that whole TIE fighter was built out of Legos, which I thought was crazy. Yeah, it's impressive. Now that's impressive right there. They, these are the two most legit Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon Jinns I've ever seen. Did you talk to these guys at all? No, they, they were just kind of walking through and, you know, they got stopped by a group of people, so I stopped to take a couple pictures of them. Oh, okay, so they weren't particularly stopped for you, you just jumped in at yeah. the right time. Yeah. I, I always feel awkward stopping people to ask them to take pictures. You're dressed up, though. You yeah. gotta expect it. There's this guy, just he was just standing there and let me take his picture. Um, I want that backpack. <laughs> that was something someone built. They built their own droid. That's awesome. Uh, so we're gonna go through a bunch of like r2d2s here because there's a r2d2 builders guild yeah um, so these are all hand built by people when are you building yours no way the the time and material and like know-how of robotics like do they make kits that you can buy i doubt it you know there's just there, there was probably 50 to 60 different r2s there wow like the main the main ones were you know the r2d2 color scheme but then there's other ones that are, you know like that one's silver yeah and like that this wasn't even all of them these are just the ones that people had on display like there were people just walking around the convention with like their r2d2 rolling around they, who they were uh controlling with remote controls or something yeah yeah i took a lot of pictures in here because these things like they're they're crazy detailed like that was a droid that had it had like cards on it like, there's a couple other droids that people built. That one, actually, you could put a little kid in it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely impressive. I, I like that. That's a nice touch. Yeah. It's a Christmas like, story. Yeah. That, that was all wood on the front there. Steampunk one. Yeah. Lego one. That's cool. That must have taken forever. Yeah. And, like, how do you fit the robotics in that thing? I thought this one was cool. We had, like, all, like, Mustang, like, insignia on it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's impressive how much detail they put into these things. Yeah, like like this one had every little toy that popped out of it. Like there's the insides of one where you just see like all the crazy like electronics that go into it. Yeah. So was it a lot of beeping? There was lots of beeping in that room. <laughs> uh, and then uh, during the weekend, they actually have droid races where people race their droids against each other to see who can go oh, through really? the, like an obstacle course. You should bring one in that's a battle bot. Just destroy the others. 
Uh, this was in the 501st area. This was like all fan-made armor that they had on display. Which like, there's crazy details and all this stuff. Yeah, it looks, I mean, it's definitely movie quality. Yeah. They had to get the Jedi in there, but... Of course. 501st doesn't really care about the Jedi. And it's just like, when you got close to that stuff, like the details, like they're all hand-painted. Like that thing you could actually sit on. Yeah, that's right. Really they weren't allowing people to sit on it, but... Uh, they said you could actually sit on it. Yeah. And that's not a real guy. That was just a mannequin. Okay. I thought it was a real guy at first. <laughs> uh, these are just examples of, like, the blasters and, like, helmets and stuff that the 501st wear. Yeah, I really like the helmets. Yeah, and, like, some of the blasters that they had, like, were cra had, like, crazy details on them. I'm guessing the 501st doesn't have any of the new... Uh, stormtroopers do they? Yeah, there was a bunch of people there cosplaying as the new stormtroopers. Oh, really? Uh, I don't know if they were, like, if Lucas got in contact with them, like Lucas Arts got in contact with them or whatever. Oh, yeah, maybe. Uh, Sideshow had a huge booth there. You could win a life-size Yoda. I want that. I think it retailed at, like, $9,000. No, it probably wasn't nine. It was probably, like, $3,500. Still really expensive. Yeah. So I, I just went through the booth. Like, they had a life-size Han and Carbonite. You could buy that or no? Uh, no, you couldn't. You couldn't buy these. These were like stuff that they have in their like own like showroom. What does that say? A oh, voice in my head. Yeah, at uh, the last celebration, they had people do the Darth Vader helmets. They had people like do their own art on them. Okay. Like old Obi Wan. This was really cool. They had it was Kotobukiya's booth. They had like a thousand figures out there. It was ridiculous. They had, they Plus light year. They had guards guarding the, like those 500 figures. It was ridiculous. They sent these pictures are repeats, uh, just different angles of them. It was like that Obi Wan, like you know, his lightsaber lit up and you could position his arms. Yeah. All right, we're coming up to the picture. This picture ruined some guy's day. <laughs> that, that, that's our friend Alan. He was on the other side taking a picture. Uh, I go to him, I'm like, Alan, Alan, take the picture. And some guy's standing to our right, and he goes, okay. And then he just walks away. Like, we just, we, we blew that guy's mind. <laughs> like, we just, He's probably still baffled on what happened. Like, we just ruined his day. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, they, they, had, they had so many things at Sideshow. And, like, they're super detailed. I went a little crazy with pictures, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, they had a couple bronzed figures that they had. Got some more Han and Carbonite. Should I ask the same questions every time we go through? You should. <laughs> Chewy. Sorry for the doubles. should be getting past the doubles here in a little bit do you see a lot of Darth Vader's walking around yeah there was not as many as you would think there's probably like 10 or 12 Darth Vader's walking around yeah like some, some of them were a lot more detailed than others did you see a lot of cosplayers not dressed in Star Wars stuff uh like you see any Star Trek people walking around uh like yeah that? there's a picture there's like a handful of Star Trek people uh, there's some Spaceballs guys. Um, I didn't get a picture of a dark helmet, but there was a guy from Spaceballs that was dressed as dark helmet. <laughs> like he has this like massive helmet. Like I don't even know how he made it through the crowds. It was ridiculous. Uh, but o overall, there almost everyone there was cosplaying as someone from the Star Wars universe. Okay. Like He's got a couple more here though. We'll get to some more cosplayers. And I believe these were all people's armor that they just donated for the, you know, exhibit that they had there. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff has so much detail involved into it. The guy's still standing there. I have a picture of someone that's, like, real on that from, I think, the first celebration I went to. And it's a real guy, and I thought it was fake. <laughs> Through all these helmets again. 
You know, it's funny, uh, like every convention you go to, you have to go through a weapons check. You have to make sure you're not bringing a real gun or sword or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And ever like all the cosplayers that were walking around, like they just put like a bright colored zip tie on their thing. So you see all these people with these bright colored zip ties and like the lightsabers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't know why anyone would think a lightsaber is real. Yeah. But what is that helmet from? I have no idea. It might be from one of the cartoons. No, nah, that's impressive. There was actually someone inside that Furby. Was it making Furby sounds? It was. That's creepy. That's the Q Hall. Um, this is what we made in to see Battlefront. How many people overall would you say was here? At the convention? Yeah. I think they said there was like 70, 80,000 people that wow. attended. Which is like 20,000 more than the last one. And half of them were stormtroopers. There, There's a lot of troopers. Like, the, the, that's not even, like, any of them. Like, and, and they would, like, every so often they would bring new people out to, um, you know, just stand out there and take pictures with. That's just a shot down one of the aisles. There's, like, General Giant had, like, random not Star Wars stuff. They had Chabby. Oh, I was wondering what that was. Uh, they always have a, a gigantic job of the hut. Is that, that supposed to be life-size? Yep. That was a pretty legit Vader and Emperor Palpatine. Yeah, that's pretty good. We saw one Vader that was, like, the right height, because Vader's, like, 6'6". Like, it was a guy that was just massive. Yeah. It was funny. Just everywhere you looked, there was just people dressed as, like, rebel pilots and stuff. What was that guy holding? <laughs> yeah, he had, like, this gigantic lightsaber. It was, like, 20 feet long. Wow. You could see him anywhere in the convention center that he was, because <laughs> he would just he would just hold it up. Was there someone with the new hilt, or was that him? Does he have a hilt on that? No. Yeah, he does. Does he? Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, there were a bunch of people there with like the brand new lightsabers that they built. So yeah, you know, just and you know the cosplayers are the friendliest guys in the world. They actually talk. Yeah, um, it's funny. Uh, well, right now we're getting into the Mandalorian parade. So we're standing there, and we, we noticed that there's like a handful of people dressed as Mandalorians walking by, and then it was like a hundred people. They were, just, they were just parading. I don't know where they were going. Do the Mandalorians have their own crew? Or they, their own club or whatever? Yeah, so they're part of the 501st, I think. Oh, like, they are. Like, there's the 501st and the Rebel Legion. Like, those are the two big ones. But mm -hmm. then there's offshoots of everything. Like, there's the Mando Mercs. Yeah. Um, but you might be able to just to join the Mando Mercs without joining the 501st. But, you know, almost all the people belong to all the groups. You know, because they, they do a lot of charity work. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all, all of them look legit. Th there was one of the Mandalorians. I don't know if he's in any of these pictures. But, you know, most people's armor is, like, plastic or PVC. Yeah. Some dude's armor was metal. Oh, really? Like, like he was a tank of a guy, but, like, walking around with all that metal and stuff. Like, you you just heard him walking around. He was like, cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> it's like a knight. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. I, I took way too many pictures of these guys just because there were so many of them. Oh, there's the Rocketeer guy. Yeah, that's really cool. It, it, it was just funny like more and more people started to like fill up the lobby where they're all walking through like they did it with the troops and they did it with the rebel legion too I like how there's always like the real fat one yeah there's <laughs> always like one really fat guy I think we're getting to the end here of all the Mandalorians and I got some real cool shots from the lobby that was where I took most of my pictures was the lobby it was the easiest to get shots of people yeah as opposed to like on the show floor because when you stop people on the show floor like you're stopping them in the middle of the aisle and yeah it blocks everything up let's see if we can see the metal guy he was like all black it was ridiculous was oh, he the most legit looking one no we, we saw like a Boba Fett like there's a Boba Fett there but we saw a Boba Fett that like looked like he just came out of the movies. It was oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Like even his shoes were like ridiculous quality. Yeah, everyone puts their own flavor on their costume if they want. I don't know about that purple one. What's wrong with purple? I like the blue one. 
What is it? What is that person holding? Oh, it's a helmet. I thought it was a face hugger for a second. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see too many mashups between any other franchises and like Star Wars. Rocketeer is a pretty random one too. I guess it fits because Boba Fett has a jetpack, but yeah. Uh, this is what they brought more troops out to take pictures with people. Now, are all these people just walking around as normal? Are they in any kind of character? Uh, some of them were like in hardcore character. Um, and it's funny, some of them have like voice boxes in their helmets. So like when they talk, it sounds like it's coming from like a radio. Oh, that's kind of cool. But then some of the other guys, this is a random courtyard in our hotel. It was in the middle. We didn't understand it. That's why I took a picture of it. So <laughs> there's no way to get to it besides... If you if you were on the fifth floor, you could get to it. Girl Darth Vader? Yeah, Lady Darth Vader. Lady Vader. Pink lightsaber. There's yeah. Star Trek. I, I think the guy on the left was Link. <laughs> <laughs> or he was like some Zelda character. I don't know. Is it, what, what is this Star Wars? <laughs> that was a really short Darth Vader. Oh, uh, yeah. That's pretty legit shock trooper. Like I, I was shooting up on a landing down onto people. It was just funny, like people were just like milling around and like someone would come up to him and be like, Can I get a picture? And then like instantly like get ready to take a picture. Go in the form. They've been practicing their form. I like how that stormtrooper has a chunk missing from his head. So, so that's a zombie trooper and that guy was great. He he was like stumbling around. What is that thing? That, that was a Mandalorian or something? I don't know. Or a squid? I don't know. A squid. But but this zombie guy, he was great. He was he was legitly shambling around, and he was trying to sneak up behind people and scare them. <laughs> that is, that's a comic book or something, right? Yeah, they wrote a book about him. But all the troopers are super friendly to little kids. Was he the, was he the only zombie trooper you saw? Uh, we saw one or two. He was the best one. Yeah. There's a little kid stormtrooper. I don't know how he sees out of that helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't. But yeah, all, all the troopers are, they, they're super friendly to like all the little kids. Like they always give the little kids a high five and a lot of the 501st, like the senior members, they all have their own trading cards. Yeah. So they carry trading cards and give them to the little kids. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I got a couple shots of people like pointing their guns at me. Oh, his has LEDs in it. Yeah, which is a cool feature. Not a lot of them have that. My camera has a burst mode, so I just took like 95 pictures of one that, person. That is a Playboy Bunny Stormtrooper. Uh, there was, when Adrian Curry was there on Saturday, and her and all her girlfriends were like femme versions of like all the male characters with bunny ears. Yeah. I didn't get any pictures of them because I couldn't find them. There he is trying to sneak up on people. He was. What I, does he have I, sticking out of his head? I have no idea. Did you talk to this guy? No. And then he ran. We 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 saw this guy. We met the this guy, the umbrella guy, like two conventions ago. There's a bunch of assholes from <laughs> space balls. Then now that's a somebody in a costume, right? Yep. I have a couple more coming up. But there's a family of scout troopers. Now this thing was legit. There was two people in this at at walking around, and they were on stilts. Like that thing was probably ten feet tall. I don't know how they got in the door. But yeah, it's impressive. Did the head move or anything like that? Yeah, like the the guy in the front was controlling the head. Like I think it was a guy and his girlfriend. How did they see? I have no idea. But like the head moved. Um, they had a little tiny um, Luke Skywalker doll that they dropped down every now and again. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. Have you? Is this the first time you've seen this? Yeah. Yeah, that, that guy that was the Gamorrean guard, like, that was a legit costume. Yeah, it looks good. And he was just standing there, like, I'm assuming he's probably part of, like, the 501st or something, you know, because they're all volunteers. So a lot of people, you know, just volunteer to help take your picture or yeah. take, a, take a picture with you because people are waiting in long lines for pictures with all this stuff. Like, I think the two guys in the back, like, they were just there helping out, and then it was just um, the other guy and his kid. Ah, uh, okay. Like, that kid's costume was freaking legit. Yeah, it's good. Better than I could do. I got lazy near the end of my slideshow, so that's why there's 100 pictures. <laughs> of the same thing. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, my slideshow just messed up. Nope, nope, there we go. Yeah, so... What's th happening here? Th there was a bunch of, uh, like, Disney villains or princesses, like, as Jedi. Uh, so I think, like, one's, like, Ursula, one's Belle. Um, we saw some others. There was uh, a girl every day. She, was co she cosplayed as Elsa, but she was, like, a different uh, character. Like, she was, like, Elsa Slave Leia. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, she was, like, Elsa regular Leia. Like, I guess, yeah, this is right across from Disneyland. Yeah, Disneyland's literally, like, across the street. Yeah. Um, every day they always had, like, a different group out in front of the fountain taking pictures. I'm sure you can find better pictures that other people took. This, that was Spartan 117. Yep. The Master Chief. And, and the great thing is he has Cortana's chip around his neck. And on the, on the backpack, um, he had... Like, it was, like, lit up LEDs and stuff. Oh, like, yeah. like, it just wasn't, like, a backpack. Wolverine. Yeah, there's a, there's a Wolverine. <laughs> there's the Chicken Boba Fett. Assassin's Creed. You know, he was an assassin Jedi, I guess. There's a new trooper standing with Roxy the Rancor. Yes, it has a name. It's Roxy the Rancor. <laughs> Uh, just more stuff from outside our hotel room. I would just shoot down every day because there was always a group of people down there taking pictures. Oh, so this is looking from your hotel. Yeah. Yeah, I see some of those guys have mics on them. Is that the metal one? No. no that, that, his costume was just all gloss black. Mm -hmm. Master Chief. Oh, Master Chief picture. I got a couple of him. More than a couple. Like I said, I just took first shots of people. There's that guy. That guy, that guy was funny. He's holding a drink. He, he didn't want the drink in the picture. I'm like, no, nah, keep the drink. <laughs> I'm like, I'll Photoshop it out. Don't worry. It makes him look classier. <laughs> and then when he did that pose, he's like, he's like, here, I can have my drink if I do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we saw tons of celebrities walking around. Uh... Bumped into Joe Goes, saw Rocco from Mega Sixty Four. I guess Weird Al was there. I didn't see him though. He he was dressed as a Jedi with a hood up. So I did see uh, the guy. One of the characters from the new movie was dressed as a, one of the new Stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that after the fact that he was walking around. He might have, he might have been with these guys because there was only a handful of the new Stormtroopers. Battlestar Galactica one it looks like. No, that's a dark trooper. Is that actually a real thing? Yes. Wow. Well, from the expanded universe. Republic Commandos. I think she I don't think she's from anything, but that was great. That that guy was Uncle Owen with Aunt Bruce skeleton on his back. Okay, uh, War Machine? So so yeah, it was like an Imperial version of Iron Man. <laughs> was it, was there somebody in that? Yeah, that dude was walking around. But yeah, that dark trooper thing was ridiculous. He didn't move. <laughs> like, he, he stood there like a statue. He probably couldn't move. He did move. I saw him outside eventually. Because everyone always made, you know, just waiting outside, like, watch him walk outside. This guy was great. He was cosplaying as George Lucas. <laughs> and he was like, bring Jar Jar back. He's like, that character was the greatest. Is that what he just yells? Was he yeah. by himself yelling? Yeah, he was himself? just staying there by himself. And he's he like, does look kind of like George Lucas. And he, he's like, he's like that BB-4-8, he's like BB-8 droid. He's like, fuck that thing. <laughs> it was pretty funny. And there's a Rocketeer from the front. Yeah, I do like that one. It's pretty good. The Blunt Man and Chronic. And the guy that was playing Silent Bob played that to a T. He didn't talk to anyone. Mm -hmm. He just made hand gestures. And they got they got stopped a lot. Yeah, I bet. Even with the Republic Commandos. I think I have a picture of, of these guys from one of the last conventions I went to. Because they're the only ones I've ever seen do the Commandos from the game. I would hate wearing all that paint. Yeah, that she has on. Must get itchy. Uncle Owen again. There's those guys. No, legit, Luke. Legit Obi-Wan and Luke. Yeah, that's legit right there. Yeah. And we're 
near, we're nearing the end here. But overall, the convention was pretty good. I'm debating whether or not I want to go to London. So hopefully, people are a little nicer there, or more social, I guess you could say. Yeah, maybe we won't have awkward elevator rides. <laughs> but you have to listen to our podcast to hear that story. All right, everyone, that concludes our slideshow. Have fun. <laughs>